Okay, so here is the Renegade Valencia 38RW. This is the rear wardrobe floor plan. Uh, this is the 2022. Uh, last one of the 2022s we're gonna get before the 23s come in. Brief glance at the outside, but let's go on the inside where it actually matters. So, Renegade is gonna give you two steps on the outside, three steps in. These are nice solid steps. You can jump on them and they're not gonna bounce around. They're not flimsy. Right inside the door is your battery disconnect, entry switch, and um, e-start to start the battery, or start the coach if the battery's dead. Here is inside the Valencia. Let's shut this door, keep some noise out. All right, so back here in the bedroom, all the way on this back wall is going to be your wardrobe. So big closet, plenty of hanging space, lights in there, glass doors uh, with a mirror finish on there. Over here is washer and dryer. This is stackable. It is an option. We have optioned it with this. They are splendid. They are vented. Both sides of the king bed will have outlets. And then if you see these outlets that have the USB port built in, those outlets are going to be run by the inverter. So if you are traveling, don't want to have the generator going, but you want to plug in your sleep at machine or something like that, you can run that 110 outlet off of battery power. So king bed, windows on both sides, they both open up, some LED lights up above. You also have a multiplex panel here where you can start the generator, uh, your lights, some cabinets up above, very deep. All your cabinets do also have these infinity hinges on there so you can let that cabinet sit at whatever angle you want. All your hinges are hidden. Real wood cabinetry, through, cabinetry throughout, which is a, a Renegade. Everyone knows that about Renegade. You're solid wood throughout this whole entire coach. Optioned with the bedroom TV. Some storage here. Your audio-visual controls. Another multiplex panel. Now, on these panels, anything that has a arrow on there like that, those lights are dimmable. So that's pretty cool. Solid pocket door right here to separate the bathroom. And now here in the bathroom, you have solid surface. Oh, I don't remember what we were going. Solid surface countertop uh, right here in the bathroom, which is a continuation from the kitchen. Large vanity that opens. And then this year with the 22s, they added a second multiplex screen back here. So you have two of them now on your coach. Across that bathroom, you have a large shower. One piece fiberglass, which I prefer because there's no seam in there for water to ever leak in the future. Um, plenty tall enough for you. I know you're 6'4", so plenty of headroom there. Porcelain toilet with a macerator built in. And here's the living space. So starting back here, you have a nice size pantry that does have a pullout in there. So you have all these drawers that slide out. Again, all solid, real hardwood throughout. Dream dinette. So there are storage drawers underneath both of these cushions. But with these dream dinettes, it's really nice. There's no legs underneath here. So you have plenty of room for your knees to slide in there. There's plenty of belly room on these benches. And then this thing just slides straight down to act, act as another sleeping space. Large windows that open up all the way around this slide out. This one is optioned in with the sleeper sofa, so that does turn into a bed. There are seat belts on that, and there are also seat belts on this rear uh, seat right there, the forward facing dinette. Across from that is going to be your galley. So, large residential refrigerator right here, plenty of space. It does open completely when that slide is in, so no matter what you put in there, you can get out while you're traveling. 
plenty of drawers and doors down here. Again, they all open up. They are all soft clothes. Uh, three burner cooktop with a solid surface cover over top of that to use as extra countertop space when you're not using the burners. Convection microwave. Cabinets up above that are huge, especially this one above the fridge. You can throw everything up there. You could probably get an Instapot, coffee pot, anything up there. Again, your countertops are all LG solid surface counters. So they are non-porous. You can cook, you can clean right on. If you scratch it, you can buff it out. Um, single bowl sink with the residential pull-out faucet right there. Cabinets up above. So plenty of space to keep all of your kitchen utensils for a long trip. Not a problem there. Plenty of pantry space in the back. TV up above on a sound bar that is on a swing arm directly across from your sofa. That is run off the inverter as well, so you can watch it while traveling without having the generator going. Up here is your bunk. So leaving it forward is super nice because it gives you plenty of headroom to get in and out of the cockpit. I love that design. Um, this is a one piece solid fiberglass cap up here, so you should never have an issue with water penetrating into this front cap, which is one of your biggest concerns on a Class C motorhome. But with Renegade's construction of this, you should never have that uh, happen. Right here is your audio visual controls, um, Blu ray player, all that built right in. Um, optioned in with a second TV, or actually, it's a fourth TV over here in the bed. There's a curtain that hooks up and goes across there. Here in your cockpit, I'm sure you're pretty familiar with this. Nothing has changed. Uh, Renegade put new seats in this year for the 22s. So a little bit more comfortable. They wrap around you really nice. Um, this one is optioned in with the brake controller. So if you want to tow a trailer or a car or what have you behind you, it is there. Otherwise, pretty simple stuff up front. There's your equalizer system. So it's a four point hydraulic auto leveling system. What's really nice in the 22s is they option that on your multiplex panel. So you don't need to download a separate app to run your jacks. You can do it right from the um, Mira app, which is very nice. Garmin GPS navigation built in. This is fully removable. So the passenger can work on it, hook it back up. It's all magnetic right on there. Air on both seats. Power windows, easy to drive, fun to drive. You don't see the front cap when you're sitting in the driver's seat. And that's one of my favorite parts of these is when I'm sitting here, I do not see that overhang of the cap right there. When you're sitting right here, you cannot see it at all. So it makes for a great view. Um, that was one of my biggest pet peeves with your standard gas Ford class C's is that cap is just it protrudes and it just it ruins the driving experience so very nice chassis up here very quiet it does have the allison uh 3000 on it it does have two modes you have economy mode and a performance mode so you can actually conserve fuel mileage on there especially going through the mountains and then you can also switch it so you can get some higher rpms and go a little bit faster very nice So that is the inside of the Valencia. Absolutely beautiful coach. Oh, we have to get the bed size on this. Here's our mattress tag. It is 72 by 74. You were exactly correct. So um, the thing is, you could put a larger mattress on it if you extended it, but then it wouldn't be able to hit. It would hit right here when you're sliding it in. Um, so you're kind of stuck with the, yeah, the 74 inch, which is traditional for motorhomes for lengthwise because of the slide, but, um, that's gonna be pretty standard unless they do the folding bed. Yeah. The only way around it is to do those mattresses that flip on top of themselves. Well, when they do that, you always have that crease in the middle. Your sheets are always falling in there. You're sagging in while you're sleeping. It's just... It's not a good design. The reason they do it is to get that that marketing standpoint of having an 80 inch king bed on there, but it just it's not good for sleeping. 
And let's go take a peek at the outside. All right. So starting up front, this one is going to be optioned with our diamond shield. So it's gonna be hard to see, but you can see this line right here. What that is, is a, a paint protection on the front, uh, front cap of it. It is also on those kick panels there and then around the door handles. And what that does is it keeps rocks and chips and stuff from happening and hitting the front of it and chipping away at your paint. It's a protective coating. It's clear, you can't see it unless you get really close. Option with the Bridgestones, you are 22 and a half. So these are 295s as well. Uh, so you have a lot of rubber on the road. Um, and then you're the, the solid aluminum rim. So you're actually, uh, I believe you're Alcoa on these, which is very nice. Um, double entry step here, your mirrors. Top is power and heated, bottom is manual. And then right up here is gonna be your camera system. You have three cameras, actually four cameras on this thing. Um, two side mount cameras and then one two in the rear so one goes down on your hitch one goes back here's that front cap i was talking about on the inside so this thing is actually one piece you see how there's no seams anywhere around right here it's solid one piece there's no way for water to protrude in there because that is the part that gets beat while you're traveling down the road and those seams deteriorate and that's how water damage happens on all those Ford chassis or some of your entry level uh, Super C. So I love how Renegade does that. It's all hand painted. They use a uh, Mercedes Sickens paint on all of this. It is cut and buff between every layer so you can rub your hand on here and not feel the grooves between each paint. So they do a triple coat of clear coat on the front, two coats of clear coat on the back absolutely beautiful paint scheme on here 10 gallon hot water heater exterior entertainment and then your pass through or not pass through but your storage doors so new this year is they put these struts on there and why they did that this year is from when you open these things people were opening them too far and letting them go and then they were pinching right there in the corner and causing the doors to bend so struts on them now Everything is uh, steel doors or steel compartments, but wrapped in a carpet. So in this one, you're going to have your inverter. Uh, it's a pure sign wave inverter. You have lights in all of them. There's your Jaboni solar control. This one is optioned with three 175 watt solar panels on board. Um, and again, Renegades call you on their doors. You're going to be dual hinge, dual latch doors. You're a solid insulated door, all aluminum. They shut like a car door, not your um, old school fifth wheel style doors. Plenty of storage in there. Plenty of storage here. This one does dip down underneath that frame rail. Uh, you have your slide locks right here. I'm not gonna tell you what you need to do with them, but just keep them in the garage, no one uses them. Right there is an air hose. It comes with the air hose, and then on the other side, there'll be an air chuck where you can hook that up to, um, to fill up a tire or use it for extracurriculars when you're at the campsite. Your rear wheels, what I love about Renegade, and I talk about this all the time, is I grab onto this fender and I pull it and yank on it. It doesn't move at all. It is not some chintzy plastic there to cover up uh, a gap. It is real solid. More storage here. Right here is going to be the option of a propane quick connect. So if you have a Blackstone grill or whatever that you wanna camp with, spin this cap off, run a connector cord out from underneath, hook up your grill. It's gonna run off your LP tank that's built in. You'll use that. More storage here in the back. Here in the rear, Renegade does a great job. I love how they do the two-piece cap. So right here, it is actually split into two pieces. So that way, if you were to back up and hit somebody or back into the trailer on that back corner, we just need to replace that bottom piece, not the whole cap. Uh, it's brilliantly designed because it happens to most everybody. They eventually back into something. Um, right here is gonna be your hitch. You can tow 12,000 pounds, seven way right there. Again, this one's optioned with the brake controller. And there's your camera systems up top. 
furnace, power cord, you are a 50 amp power cord. We do have the power hose reel on this and then there is surge. So this thing has a built-in surge protector. A lot of people think they have to buy one aftermarket. You can if you want, it's completely overkill. You don't need it. 8,000 watt uh, Cummins Onan generator. This is diesel. It runs off your 100 gallon fuel tank on board. So you don't need to worry about filling that up separately. Diesel fill right here, as you know on the S2, it's a single fill. You don't have the saddlebags. A lot easier. Again, designed for the RVer. This is one of my favorite parts. I get geeked about this. So right here is gonna be your wet bay. Whole house filtration right there. Um, you have a power hose reel on this, so fresh water hose right here, controlled by this switch, water spigot, and then your dump valves, black tank flush. But I just love how this is a piece of steel that Renegade actually water jets these logos right on out of it. It's not a sticker that's gonna fall off over time. It's actually water jetted in there, cut in. It's, it's great, it just shows their attention to detail. Sewer hose holder right there. And then these bays are gonna be holding tanks. So your black and gray tanks are held in here, completely wrapped, completely insulated, and then they have electronic heating pads on those tanks that are controlled from the inside. That's your other tank. This one's gonna be propane. And then this one is gonna be your battery compartment. So you have an 8D battery in there to control the house, battery disconnect switch in there, and then that is also where your a uh, quick connector could be for your air hose is in the top left. I don't know if you can see it or not back there. Def tank right here, easily located. Engine block heater. And then you have your straps for your, your hood. So beautiful coach. I know this is a pretty long video, but I'm trying to give you a full walkthrough of it. If you have any questions, Feel free to reach out.